Hello everybody, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card stamp the card using the stamp sets. Pretty perennial. And I've used this image and that image. Yeah. And the dies. I do need to cut one of them. And I need that one. And I need that one. I have cut some things out, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm also using Hey Birthday Chick for Happy Birthday. This is being carried over into the new annual catalogue. But the pretty perennial is retiring. Which is a pity, because I'm using this a lot at the moment. As you will see over the next week or two depending when I upload this. Right, I have cut out already the pink flower there and some of the bits for the yellow flower but I do have to stamp and cut out the actual yellow flower. I've also got my circle cut out and this circle measures the two inch one. I've also cut out these two little leaves. So what we'll do first, I'll show you the card stock you need. Right, I have got a smoky slate card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. No, it's not. It's four eleven and three quarters scored at five and five eighths. And it's four and one eighth wide. I have a piece of smoky slate at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I have already run it through the basket weave embossing folder. That's a stamping up one. And I've got a piece of white for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So I need that to stamp on the inside and I've got a scrap of white here for the flowers. So let's just do this inside while I remember. And all I'm doing with that is just putting in my normal inside message. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Right, I need my Daffodil Delight got and I'm going to stamp the small yellow flower daffodil to white flower and the large daffodil to light flower like that and I also need bring this back the happy birthday from birthday chick oh, leave that there because I am using the stitch so sweetly Stitch so sweet, yeah. Stitch so sweetly dies. I'm using this small one here to cut that out. So that's our stamping done. Now we just need to do our cutting. So This first seems I'm playing with it. Bring my plates over. I think I made this card at one o'clock this morning. 
seen. Oh my god. A YouTube video of it. Oh, I can't tell you who that was. I'm awfully sorry to the lady who made that. Oh, I need them. But there was a nice lady who made it on YouTube and I cased it. There's no use casing a card if you can't remember who you cased it from. I will hopefully write in the descriptions when I upload it onto YouTube and put the lady's name, I'll look it up. And I'll put her name in the description. Yellow flowers, one, two, rubbish. Right, what we do need is this leaf, and I bet this isn't big enough. For dies, you don't want to lose them, do you? Because no, me, if I didn't put them away, I'd lose them. That's where we end up in the bin. And I've done that before now. I have to empty the bin to go look for them. Right. So I'm quite happy with that. That's got to be cut up, so let's stick these down. Now this only stuck down the middle. Let's get this the right way. That's it. And pop its yellow centre on. Da -da 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 light. This is and that one doesn't have a centre. I have lost. No, I haven't. Thought I'd lost a little leaf then. So, to get this started, we're going to place our circle on here first. And we'll just place that down in the middle, but just to the left of it, or right of it. Now the leaves chop them up. Did I put them all up on no. Right. What I did with the flowers is 
lift them up and just squeeze them a bit. That one there. like that. None of them went on dimensionals. So this leaf being the first leaf will go down first and that is going to go down just there and then the yellow flower go down on top of it. I'm going to place this yellow flower there. And then the pink flower. I'm going to place there. One of the leaves we cut off, we're going to place under there, and then the second, or the third leaf, should I say, we're going to place under there. And then these two tiny leaves. One up here. One here. Right, before I put the sentiment on, I should put this on the card base. Now, using, because it's embossed, got to use quite a bit to cover the card to get it to stick. Well, not to get it to stick, to help it stick. side piece in. In a couple of dimensionals. I'm placing that just under the flower and there. And then we want to add some gems and some pearls. The pearls are our centerpiece for our flowers.
and then we're going to just put far three um, of these little gems on. The outside. Like that. There we are. That's our card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.